Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Beth, and I just finished reading Zodiac by Neil Stevenson. Uh, I hopefully I'm pronouncing the name correctly. It was brought to my attention that I was not previously. Uh, this book was published in 1988 and is about 300 pages long. Yeah, it definitely shows this is one of his earlier works. Uh, I hate this expression, but honestly, Zodiac walked so that Snow Crash could run. The problem is you see, you see all of the components in this book. It just never comes together. Uh, also, a really glaring problem in this novel are the characters. I don't think Stevenson makes the best of characters, but this book, even I had to redo this video because I could not remember the main character's name. It's Sagamon Taylor, or they call him ST. All the characters were just not memorable. Uh, the story itself is quite intriguing. It's uh, action-packed. Um, I do think that there comes a point in the end. The end is really... It feels like uh, the end of Monty Python and the Holy Grail where they ran out of money and it's just chaos. That's what the end feels like. It just feels like it stops out of nowhere and there's not really any conclusion. There is, but there isn't. It just feels like I decided to end the book now. That's what the author said. And, you know, as a reader, you kind of have to deal with that. Uh, the actual story is enjoyable before you get there, but as soon as the end comes, you know, I'm looking at this book and I only have eight pages left, and I'm thinking, there's nothing that's tied up. And so main premise, uh, main character, S.T., Sagamon Taylor, he's essentially an eco-advocate. Um, he's against uh, dumping in the Boston Harbor, and he's found a company that is trying to cover up uh, some de basically decaying toxic waste that they put in the harbor many years ago. And he's trying to prove that they did this and then they're trying to cover up their own mistakes by making it more, essentially making more toxic waste. Which, even in the end of the book, is not really nothing's fixed at the end it just well I guess it makes sense because the state of the world and you can't really stop corporations I mean it definitely talks about the futility of man in current society oh current as of 1988 to stop corporations from destroying our environment so you know it's it's very action-packed I don't think the action at times it's done well there are certain boat chases it's called Zodiac because Zodiac is the name of uh, the boat, the type of boat that our main character uses to essentially fight crime. <laughs> he's kind of like Batman, but with, you know, ecosystems. And he's got a lot of chemical knowledge. I will say this, if you work as an electrical engineer or know anything about printed circuit boards, PCBs, you're going to be real confused in the beginning of this novel before they explain what they're talking about when they mean PCBs. Because it's not the same. It's some kind of com chemical compound that's deadly that I've never heard of. And I'm reading this book thinking, I work with PCBs all the time. They're not, they're not deadly. Like, I, I don't know why everyone's so scared of it. I mean, maybe if you're soldering with lead, but the, obviously I'm off topic. But if you know PCBs in the beginning of the novel, it is not, not all it explained. So I was just confused <laughs> until they explain it so I mean maybe you're supposed to be in confusion uh but I I do really enjoy uh the plots for Neil Stevenson's books I think that they're very well researched uh everything feels very plausible uh but with a sense of humor behind his writing there's always that humor component which I personally enjoy quite a bit because you know life is full of humor <laughs> and it's also I think that when the world is going through such, you know, is such dire prospects and there's such these high stakes, you need a little bit of humor to lighten it up. And I think that he does that quite well, and he did that quite well even at the beginning of his writing. But the characters are just not memorable. Um, I there were there were so few characters too, and I kept forgetting who was who. And I read this book rather quickly. It's only three hundred pages, and it took me less than a week, a few days. So you would think that I could keep track of the characters, and I just couldn't. It just felt then a bit rushed. He just didn't want to write anymore. He said, you know what, 300 pages, that's fine. That's what it felt like. Uh, because honestly, 
I think he does usually write in a longer format, at least um, certain books that I've read of Neil Stevenson. And this one definitely just, maybe it's because of his earlier works and he didn't feel comfortable writing that long. But it's, it's missing so much. It just feels a lot of time that the plot's forced or p the actual characters feel like they're being forced to do things. It doesn't feel natural, uh, the whole line of events that happens in the book. And maybe it just feels the pace is really, really rushed. So, um, honestly, I, I enjoyed it still. I, I don't think it's bad because it's still great writing. I see it there. It's just not to the level of which I've read previously. So that was my main qualm with the book. I think that, honestly, if you like his works and let's say you've read all the other books or the other recommendations, because even looking online, this is pretty low down the list. Uh, when you look on Google, you have to actually expand to all his books and scroll and scroll and then you finally see Zodiac. So obviously it's not his most well-known. This is just what was available to me in the used book section, but still good. I... I, I light recommendation. If you like his works already, um, and you're just looking for a fun little romp, this is more of a fun romp. It's, it's short. It's really short. It's not that serious. It comes with really good themes and ideas are presented to you, uh, which make you think, and it drives this point home pretty well. It's just, it's rushed. That's, that's the problem. So honestly, I recommend Read Snow Crash. That one's great. Cryptonomicon, which I've read previously, is it's a little bit long. I think that one's a bit more of a, a slog, whereas Snow Crash is more manageable, I'd say. Perfect length. So, um, hope you enjoyed my review and have a good one.